Hey guys, Caleb Dennison with Digital Trends here, and we're inside LG Display Special booth at CES. And this is not LG the TV maker, this is LG Display. They actually make the technology that goes into LG TVs. And the reason we like to come here and check things out is because we get a little bit of a peek into the future here. And it starts today with the 88 inch 8K OLED that is behind me right now. What LG is calling this is Crystal Sound OLED. And basically that means that behind this screen, attached to this screen, are little transducers. There are five of them in total, uh, three towards the bottom, uh, two towards the top. And what that brings to you is sound from the screen. The screen is the speaker. Now, if you pay attention to the TV world, you may think, well, doesn't Sony already have that? Well, yes, they do. They have integrated it in some of their OLED TVs, but that's because LG developed that technology. So the evolution here is that it's moving from a two transducer sort of display where you get, you know, some pretty good stereo effects to a multi transducer display so that they can actually simulate Dolby Atmos, which opens up uh, the sound quite a bit. So you get a little bit of height information there as well as a center channel so they can anchor dialogue and sound effects anywhere on the screen that they want to. And that really adds to the sort of sense of realism. When you have sounds coming from where they're appearing on the screen, it's pretty impressive. There's one other thing I want to show you real quick as well. So what we're seeing here right now is what LG calls Crystal Motion OLED. So your standard LED LCD TV has a response time at best, somewhere in the nine to 10 millisecond area. With standard OLED, the OLEDs that LG Display has uh, produced thus far, it's closer to six milliseconds. So that's a big improvement. What LG Display has just told us is that they've managed to get that response time down to 3.5 milliseconds using an algorithm. So it's something that can be deployed uh, to all of the OLED TVs that it's produced thus, thus far. This is something that we expect to be seen in the 2019 OLED televisions that come out later this year, but it will also be deployed to older OLEDs. So that's gonna allow fast moving sports to have a clarity that we've not seen before, at least not without doing some sort of image processing that gives it that soap opera effect. So last thing I want to tell you about is if you've been paying attention to our coverage, you know that LG has announced a 75 inch LCD 8K display. We also know that they have the massive 88 inch 8K OLED. What we're learning here today is that they also have 65 inch versions, both OLED and LED LCD TV in an 8K panel. Now that's not something that's come to market, at least LG's not uh, talking about that right now, but the fact that these panels are here means that LG probably will bring 8K down to the 65 inch size, which frankly is about as small as I'd want to see 8K anyway. The real money in 8K is at the larger screen sizes so that you can sit closer to these massive displays and not see any pixels. Well, that's quite a bit from LG Display. We hope you've enjoyed looking around with us and seeing a glimpse into the future. I'm Caleb Dennison and we'll see you on the next one.